So, I'd like to update everybody on the state of the coronavirus. I haven't done this in a very, very long time. Um, and I'd like to talk about Joe Biden's plans and how they differ from Donald Trump's. And uh, I'd like to give you guys an anecdote, a recent anecdote. Um, I'm just kind of talking coronavirus. I haven't had a, just a coronavirus talking video. So I went to go and drop off the rent check. And I listen to the radio because I'm going to drive there. I don't, I'm not going to walk to drive there. So I drove over, drop off the check. And I hear them talking about Joe Biden's plan for dealing with the coronavirus. And Joe Biden lady on there. And she's explaining Donald Trump's plan. Uh, I was stunned. And shocked and amazed to hear Joe Biden's plan for what he wants to do. Uh, they want to they want to get a vaccine as fast as humanly possible, and then they want to dispense it to the people who need it the most first. And then, as we get more vaccine produced, we're going to make it available to everybody as soon as humanly possible. That's what Donald Trump was doing. But hey, whatever. Um, <clears throat> We're not there yet, so I guess Joe Biden is just kind of like, well, that was good, so we're going to keep doing that. Fair enough. Um, he's, of course, there, you know, his, his people are acting like that somehow is doing something different. Which is weird, but whatever. So he's taking credit for doing all the shit that the media has kind of suppressed about Donald Trump's fucking coronavirus plan. Uh, he's just kind of taking credit for that. Which is funny, considering that he has not even been sworn in as president yet. He's already taking credit for the shit that's being done. Okay. <clears throat> Whatever. So, and I know people are going to be like, Well, Donald Trump said that he made a booming economy and Obama's economy was going up. Fuck you. Donald Trump was at least sworn into office and had done something. He lowered taxes for everybody. And then boom, right? It wasn't like we all felt like we were on the verge of a boom if only, I don't know, some sort of Obama era something happened. It, no, Donald Trump came into office, changed something major, taxes, and then all of a sudden the economy boomed. Anyways, so Joe Biden, not even sworn in, already taking credit for the advancements that are going on with the, uh, the vaccine and everything. Well, we still got to lock shit down. Joe Biden still wants to lock shit down. Like, as soon as he, like the first, it, it's almost like. Mom's been in charge and things have been goofy and crazy because mom's in charge, right? And now dad's in charge. And when dad gets home, he's gonna lock you all in your fucking rooms. Day one, the fucking second he walks in the door, he's gonna be like, oh, you get in your fucking rooms and then lock you all in your rooms. Like that's what it's gonna be like, man. Fucking Joe Biden's gonna come in and the hammer's gonna go down. Now everybody's gotta be locked up. Joe Biden's president and the virus lethality goes through the roof. So we all gotta be locked away, right? We're all free to roam around pretty much right now. And, you know, shit ain't that bad. Like, we're still hearing about a whole lot of people that are getting infected. We're not hearing so much anymore about anybody dying. People are still dying from it, but nevertheless, the numbers just aren't as nice as when, you know, as infected people. We gotta pay attention to the infection rate. That's what matters. Not people dying anymore. We're just worried about people getting sick. Now for an anecdote. I go to my parents' house yesterday, 
for the Andy Only Comes Over on Sunday Thanksgiving dinner. Um, it was wonderful, by the way. It was very nice. And I find out that my aunt has come down with the coronavirus. Now, should I be worried? Well, let's think about it. My aunt is 90 years old. <laughs> And as far as comorbidities, it's not really a question of does she have them. It's more a question of are there any she doesn't have. She's overweight, diabetic, she's got breathing problems, she's got some sort of lung thing, she's got bad immune system, she's 90, she's 90, she's 90, you know. There's a whole lot of shit going on. And when I got there shit sounded pretty grim my mom was like well they haven't put her on a ventilator yet you know and, and my dad's like uh, you know it just sucks and it just sounded very grim and, well we haven't we haven't called him yet today to find out what's going on with her I'm like oh okay all right you know it just sounded very grim and I was getting upset because it sounded very grim I love my aunt she's a nice lady <clears throat> Be sad to see her go away with some wasting disease like that. Especially because in her 90s, she's very spry. She's one of those old ladies that's still with it. You know what I mean? Still kicking, still goes on cruises and travels and shit like that. You know what I mean? She's still living her life. And 90, you know. But again, every comorbidity. She's got the royal flesh of comorbidities. Uh, so... You know, we have dinner. My brother calls. Find out what's going on with his aunt. And my dad goes, you know, I, I haven't called him yet. He's like, I, I, I should give him a call. And so he calls my cousin. Find out what's going on with his sister. And she says, oh, she's feeling a lot better. <laughs> they put her in the hospital. And they gave her this, that, and the other thing. And they gave her a coronavirus drug. They apparently aren't saying what it was. It was a coronavirus drug, right? Which makes me think that it's that whatever the fuck it is. Just, just rising or whatever, whatever the fuck. The shit that Donald Trump said everybody should have and then they said to kill you. All I guess is they gave her that and now she feels good. Now, I mean, it's a 90-year-old lady with coronavirus. I, I, I you know, that... My cousin sounded like, hey, hey, she's feeling better, you know? Like, the way it sounded after that, my dad's like, they probably gave her the shit that they gave Trump. Now she's feeling great. I'm like, well, I mean, is it is she cured? Like, what, you know, what the fuck? And he's like, bah. sounds like she's doing good. And I'm like, well, fucking A. So, 90-year-old woman with every fucking comorbidity in the book. She goes to the hospital. They give her a bunch of drugs antibiotics and stuff and, a, and a, a COVID drug and now she's feeling better she's doing fine she can breathe okay and stuff and I'm like so why are we locking shit down again like they're about ready to discharge the 90, old late, 90 year old lady with, with COVID-19 that is feeling fine now a couple of days after she goes in and we're going to lock everything down why are we gonna lock everything down? Like, I don't get that. It just doesn't seem necessary. <clears throat> Everywhere in the world is now saying that lockdowns are a fucking terrible idea, that it fucks with the economy, and we've noticed that that's far worse. You know that shit that I was saying when when they were threatening to lock everything down in the first place, and I said, don't, don't do that shit? Because starvation kills just as bad as fucking virus. And then people started starving and, and right. And now everybody's like, don't do that shit. Oh, okay. Well now everybody's coming around to where I was a year ago. Awesome. So now that we're there, what's with Joe Biden? Oh well Joe's lagging behind. You see, he's very old. It takes him a while to catch up. So he wants to lock everything down. <sighs> so
So in another month and a half or so, Joe Biden gets sworn in as president and that whole thing happens, then uh, we're going to lock down for no reason. So my question is, what logically would be a reason? I, I, I mean, just spitballing ideas here. What logically would be a reason why we all need to lock down when Joe Biden becomes president? My thought is this. The big cities still having a major problem because they stack people like cordwood in big cities and they don't give a fuck about the people. So shit's bad in big cities, right? So we need to lock down the big cities because they need cleaned, right? They need properly managed. So, we need to shut down the big cities because we don't know what else to do. But, we've seen what happens when we shut down the big cities. People move. They, they move out to the suburbs. They move out to the rural areas, right? Well, that sucks because that just kills the tax base of the city, doesn't it? All the people move out. We can't get as much taxes. We're a big city. We need lots of tax revenue, right? So... If everybody leaves, it's no good. So what? How, how do you make it to where people will stay in the big cities and yet still be cool with getting locked down? Well, obviously there's the manipulation, the emotional and mental manipulation of beratement and, and guilt trips. But when that fails, right? Because these are rich people, right? These are, these are smarter than that. Rich people. So... Rich people aren't, aren't as inclined to watch their bank account dwindle as they get, you know, guilt trip. They'll just go, well, I'll just fucking move. And then I won't be such a problem in the fucking city. So, they move. Well, how do you keep them from moving? Well, give them nowhere to move to. I mean, if you shut down the cities, because the cities, the cities you know, need to be shut down... They'll move to the, to the countryside. Well, if the countryside is shut down too. Eh, fuck you. Might as well just stay in the city, right? That's just a guess. I mean, it's just a thought process. I don't know. Because I can't think of any other fucking reason to shut shit down. Like everybody. I can't think of a reason to do it. For one week, two weeks, two days. I can't. I Why? Like there's... We've seen what happens when you do that shit. Even for a couple of weeks doesn't work and we've also seen that a couple of weeks turns into months right remember in the beginning it was 14 days to flatten the curve and that turned into how many months has it been so Joe wants to start us over at 14 days to flatten the fucking curve again how many months is that gonna be like, how many months is that 14 days going to turn into, Joe? Because we're already fucking reeling here, man. Like, how much more blatant do you want to get as to say, I'm here to destroy this country? Like, seriously, how much more blatant do you want to get with it? Because that's your goal. I can't think of anything else. I can't think of another reason why it needs to be done. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. But there's your COVID update. Uh, Donald Trump is out. Joe Biden might be in. And because of that, the virus is so much more intense that we're going to need to start over from square one. Literally, almost by the date. Awesome. That's awesome. I hope everybody is happy with the decision that they've made.